Okay. Where the heck did I leave off? Oh, that's right. I found a Pokemon Center in a crevice. Just making sure I'm not going to throw into any other... Okay, so that's where the other Titan was. I don't have to deal with a Titan, at least. Hey, Eos! How are you? I'd like to get up here so I can map out these because this is going to be the worst pain in the butt. <laughs> Sounds like you're having fun. Oh, is that the uh, psychic lady all the way down here? Ah, okay. I tried getting down here just to unlock this, but it's like the whole thing is quarantined off. You can't get there unless you have special jump. An easy path? Looks like I missed a Pokemon Center. I can walk. I am down here. <laughs> like I said, my main thing is to unlock the fly points so that I can get around easier. That and collect as many Pokemon as I want. That way, when I go for the Pokemon challenges, I'll have diverse teams. There's no Pokemon that are up near this- oh wait, there it is. There's one. Which hopefully I'll be able to get to, that way I'll have an easy go to the Starfall up here. Ortega. I assume once I get here to Mind Mindali, Bedali, I can easily go up, work my way around the top. Unless there's a way I can get to the top without that, but. <laughs> 
top tier husbando, huh? Well, first things first, I've got to get out of this crevice. This is 10 levels higher. I'm gonna have fun going through here. Come on. Okay, got the sable eye. Hey, Wolf, how are you? Sable eye, the darkness Pokemon that from gems it has eaten float through the surface of its body and can form infinite number of patterns among individuals. Well, but I need to name a male sable eye. I don't really have a name for them. It went pretty well. I mean, I got over early to help mom make all the dinner and stuff, but it was pretty good. Uh, because...
I don't know, you're states away. Heh <laughs> heh. Oh jeez, she's not that big into visitors. He probably would've even gotten a pet. Oh, it's a deerling that fell down here. The medley, okay. Bag on. An Umbreon. Yeah, this isn't gonna go well, but.
that's up to the mountain pass. So I'll go down here and set up a spawn point. Oh, that's a Persian. I'm like, what is that? Okay. But from here, I can go up to the mountain pass and get to here. Get here. And maybe get over here. Open up all these ports. Nothing over here that I need to get. Still break in the middle of the lake, okay. I get these points, I can fly back to here. And continue down to here. Get this one too. This one. See about maybe getting this one open because that one was a bear. And get this open. And then I'll be back at the school. Which once I'm back at the school, then I have all the points unlocked so I can go wherever I want. I can start training up teams so I can take out all the different gyms, bases, and titans. Okay, bigger all. Oh, a Flareon. Oh, a herd of Pyroars. Some easels. Um, let's see. How'd I go the wrong way? That's going into town. I need to go out of town. Ooh, 
went to Dene. Here. Oh, greedent. So big. Oh, a chancy. Or a rapini. To the lake, to the mountain. Okay, we want to do the mountain first. It looks like left will take me to this this point. The Ten Sites of Paldea, okay. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna just load in a bit late. Okay, I should have this unlocked now. Next one I want to try for is up north. Get up there. It is. I see the Pokemon Center. Down the mountain we go. Bing. And this should be unlocked now. Way I can come and take care of this guy whenever I get ready. One last focus center I want to open up. This one. 
Well, I think there's two. There's that one and there's this one. Both are down to the south. East. Oh, sorry, I got a bit of a pickup. Oh, yeah, I hear ya. Ah, crap. Revard. Holy crap, they're 43s? Oh, it's a good thing I'm not fighting anything up here. Yep. Oh. Hey, another Grievard. to hide in the snow. might. The fuck, dude? Oh gosh, dang it. Okay, this is the previous one, which means I could have just come back here. Uh, what is that? I'm just curious. Hey, when it says you arrived at your destination, but you don't see anything. You. Okay. Okay, that's a gold up. You know, there's a whole bunch of controversy between the two. Huh? 
Some say their names were changed, like, right before development. Some say that was something else that happened. Oh, come on, Grievard. Oh, it cupped you. I need to catch one of those, but not right now. This one. A dragon type bar boach. That's interesting. Well, Zoro is perfect for this since he's grass versus water ground. Don't have any barboaches, so this would be a good one. There we go. <laughs> yes, it's a tiny little barboach with a dragon statue on its head. About to be part of my team. Well, part of my Pokemon. Boach, the Whiskers Pokemon. It probes muddy riverbeds with its lo two long whiskers. A slimy film protects its body. Any ideas for a name? Because I am drawing a blank.
Bro, bro the bar boach. Okay. Better yet. Break bro. Oh, good one. See, I try to make my names for a Pokemon that I catch with the different terror types. Uh, have something. what I wanted. What are you two doing here? There we go. Because, yeah, you got Drake Bro here. Um, let's see... I know I have a couple others. Yeah, I just named this one Bi after Byleth. I think this Bone Sweet, yeah, Fira. Pokey. I didn't really think of a grass name for Pokey, but I figured that works. And Bugsy, the bug type weasel. Oh yeah, Grover, the ground aerotype Growlithe. Oh, that's what I got. I got a Tinkatuff. I don't know if this is the previous or middle evolution of the line. I think it's Tinka Tink, Tinka Tough, then Tinka Ton. I just named it Tink. Okay, I thought so. But yeah, that's all my Pokemon for right now, including, well, with my team, I think they're all regular. Bunch of Cree Vards. Diesel. Oh, Frost Lass. thought that was a Pokemon for a second. I'm like, what? Uh, 
Okay, I made it to this Pokemon Center. So now I have a way to get around here. That. Oh, there's a drip. Hey, maybe I don't know. If... Probably too over level for me to catch. That's my next destination. says that there's Pokemon over here, but you can never find them. Okay, this way to the gym. Gardevoir and her Ralts. <laughs> Come on, Grievard, enough. You're being a pain in the butt. Okay. Okay, now that I made it here, I have a point of transfer. Which is good! That way I don't have to worry about finding my way back here. Hmm. Oh, that would be a good one to have, is right there. I guess I could go down the mountain and open this one and then this one. Or at least this one. A dragon type Starly. Um. I 
haven't decided if that would be an actual good Pokemon to get. I mean, Draken is kind of one of the... Oh, hello. Draken is a good Pokemon typing to have. with all the Pokemon that... Because, I mean... One of, uh... Flying's weaknesses is Ice. And also, Ice is the weakness of Dragon. So, if I get this, and I get Ice Pokemon, and even if I Terra-type, or Terrastalize, I'm still gonna have a weakness to Ice. hold off. Oh, Brad, I can't see where I'm going. Oh, these guys are near invisible. Both up. Well, that's a bunch of the salt rocks. Oh, that's the evolution of Nimble, I think. What was that noise? Is that a Terra type? Um, I don't know if I can fight anything in this area. Recently, when? I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, because where I wanted to go was over there.
An electric type snob? I don't think that would be helpful. Okay, that's where I want to go. That Pokemon Center. This got this Gimmigool. Learning Worry Seed. Okay, 60 Gimme Ghoul coins. That's good. There it is. Alright, let's go. Level 50s? Nope. I'd love to have an Ndidi, but not with that level. Okay, Eos, you got me there. So not gonna lie, I do love Ndidi. Love their design. I love that there's difference between them. Love their little butler and maid combo. They're just so cute. But a level 50 Ndidi is not going to obey me until I get, like, way along into the gym challenge. Let's see. There's a Halucha, Ndidi, Earlings, Osbuck. Okay, let's see. Where's my next point? This is where I need to try and get. I don't know if I can get there. But we shall try. Gonna check out this era crystal here. An electric type toxel. Electric terra toxel. I guess maybe they come poison instead of electric, but that's still one of their typings. Yeah, it's a redundant one. Uh, what did I run into? Obviously nothing.
under yeah, that's like what I was thinking because I I think I have one that's like poison Terra. But if it's one of its already known typings, then it's not a very good Terra type. Okay, there's the Pokemon Center I want to go for, so I need to go the other way. Hello, what are you? There's still a Tinker left. There should probably two. I mean, true. Oh, that's the evolution of the uh, Capsa Kid. Oh. Right there. Alright, I'm in Area 2. I just gotta get to the Pokemon Center. Luxray! Uh, next move, super strong, as well as removing weaknesses from dual typing. So, like, my Tinkaton does insane damage to Gigaton Hammer and Silterra. Also, here is where you can get one of the most OP Pokemon in the game. Oh, you mean in this area? Oh, Phalanx. Okay. That, uh, oh, it's a Terra slacking. Okay. Oh, yeah, King Gambit. The Bisharp uh, evolution. Okay. Now I have a point. And there is the fighting base. It can only be evolved here. I'm guessing it's because of all the Bisharp. Yeah, I read about it. You gotta do, like, what, three battles against a Bisharp that's, like, the king of a group of Pawniers or something? Okay, now that I've gotten this area plan plotted out, there's no other Pokemon centers I need to plot out in this area. Just ocean. That would be stupid if there was a po Pokemon Center in the middle of the ocean. Oh yeah, I did want to see about getting to here, but I think that's not connected in any way. And I could probably go from here and go down and reach it. It would give me easy access to Poison Base. And the Steel Titan. I also have access here. So really, it would be only be access to the poison base. This terra crystal is. Oh, hi, Amoongus. A grass type orchidee. Oh, I keep saying type, a grass terra rookidee. 
I mean, I can't think of anything that would be good for. Because Corviknight is flying steel. Hi, whatever tried to run at me. I'm in a menu. So I don't think that would be a good get a type. And it might be nice to have one. But I just don't see the cause of having one that's a grass teta. And it's already steel, so adding on grass will just make it worse for fighting or fire types. Oh no, not taking that one. Oh, I need to train up Dimitri so I can have a hate flux ray. It's one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Hello, Phalanx. That's right, I gotta find a bridge. Altaria! Oh, herd of go-goats. Flamethrower. Bad. Phalanx one because I love those little guys so much. So far, that's just tired and exhausted from raising quadruplets. I can get that. I have to see if I'm actually royally screwed here. No, I think that's still on the way. I think I can fall here and be good. Bonk. Hello, and there's one of the spikes. <laughs> yeah, it's a quick question. Can I pull the spikes now or do I have to wait till later? I can pull them now. All the Pokemon around here are just going crazy. Oh, no. No, Rufflet. Gosh dang it. Oh, you butthead, Rufflet. Okay. Well, I'll have to pull it later because these Rufflets are being buttheads. Jump! Impidimp! I think they're tied to the legendaries, aren't they? Or to those doors. I guess not, because it is a plot point, I guess.
I want his groove to have wax. I guess it's from his candle. What I run into? Ooh, an impidimp! 30, that's not bad. Hmm. Light shouldn't do too much since it's part dark. Oh yeah, that didn't do anything. You little butthead! Oh yeah. Actually, I have Banksy, who I'm trying to train up. Come on, Zoro. Gosh dang it, Zoro. Thank you, Zoro. Sucker punch me. Come on, Zoro. Thank you. Let me try from here. Gosh dang it. Thank you! I love Impidamp's line. Impidamp, the wily Pokemon. They live in groups pestering and playing pranks on each other to polish their troublemaking skills. Now, Impidamp's line, I have a name. <laughs> okay, now, back to getting to the Pokemon Center. Oh, these are the trees. Sylvain! <laughs> I need to find the... <laughs> to be fair, I name uh, the Hatterene line Mercedes, or Mercy. That is cru cute. Cool. The, the trees actually have markings on them. Now, let's see what's in here. Uh... What silhouette is that? I mean, I think I see a sandy conda. Which... That's ground, so... Flying teratype? Not Sandy Conda, okay. The 
still snake? Oh yeah, the Prevo. I know. Still the Cobra, that's it. Okay, I was kind of on point. <laughs> But also, does that make sense to have a silicobra that's flying Tanatite? I'm just trying to think of what I would actually have it useful for, because it's already, what, ground? Rock ground, I think? Or just mono ground? I don't think this would be a good Okay, I'll get it and name it Quetzalcoatl. Now what Pokemon should I use? Cause it's brown, but it'll get flying Tana. do I have that'll do something against that? I know, I just like going in with a good Pokemon. The cloth, um, he does have rock moves. He's just level 13. Okay, then Cliff will be coming in. So I know it says communicating, but in offline mode, can people come in and fight tarot battles with me?
Yeah, I can see what you mean. But if it had an Evo, then that Evo would have been the Titan Pokemon. weird to have the cloth be the titan pokemon when it had an evo. Silicobra, the sand snake pokemon. Silicobra's large nostrils are specialized for spraying sand, so this pokemon is not very good at telling apart different smells. It is mono ground. That is how you spell it, correct? No? <laughs> well, if you can give me the correct spelling so I can... Namely, I can spell this correctly. There's an A between the Z and the L. All right, is that correct? Okay, so Quetzalcoatl. I'll just bump into you then. I love the drapies. 32, that's not bad. Hello, Buizel. Oh, holy crap! infestation and why did you summon a friend boizel Creepy. Yay! Creepy. 
be the lingering Pokemon. It has the habit of being of biting a Cloncher even though it doesn't feed on them. This is said to be a dream said to be vegetal behavior from when Dreepy was alive. So whatever Pokemon Dreepy was when it was alive ate Clonchers? Okay, there is one name I normally call these, but I've already used it on another Pokemon, so I'm up for first suggestion. I have my bank C, I just have to wait to get her to evolve. Uh. Well, hello, Fungus. Hey, 
Hey, you were level 25. That's reasonable. Uh, Spide Ops, no. Okay, Pokemon Center found. Oh, I see what I'm looking at. These two right here. I about to say, why are there two Pokemon Centers over here? But they're right down here in this area. That means that I have gotten everything over this way. So I have all my easy access points already marked. Which means we shall go back to... Where is it? Here we go. Italy. Anything to do in Italy? There's food, then there's food. Okay. Okay, I was only talking to you because you have agreed it. Hey, little guy. Okay, so. From here. That's the only place that's going to be fun to get to because I don't think there are any Pokemon centers over that way. Nope, so it's just going to be reversing the lake, which I should, maybe one of the upgrades will give me power to go over water. But this will be my, ooh, there's a ditto. That'd be good to get for later. But this shall be my next destination. Pineco. Atropius. What are Pokemon in this area leveled at? 30s. Not bad. Slow poke in the waterfall. That's
Oh, I have to go through this tunnel? How are you, bats? Oh? How level are you, buddy? Six, that's not bad. I just let off with a grass tide. That's not good. <laughs> Gonna get a new Evo. Noibat, the sound wave Pokemon. Noibat can change the frequency of its sound waves at will. And it generates ultrasonic waves of up to 200,000 hertz. Ah, oh, dang it, you're a girl, but you're still going to be noise. <laughs> And Chunkers is evolving. Oink alone. <laughs> Oink alone, the hog Pokemon. It entrances Bemo Pokemon with the sweet, alluring scent that dwarfs. All up from all over its body. Interesting. I guess I should evolve Gwen. Hopefully she won't be too far away from evolution. I'm sorry, but once Gwen evolves, she's going back in the box. I hate fight ops. Okay, that's another place I can get to. Raffrey, do I have you yet? Well, I'm about to find out. Okay. 
Give me gold chest. Okay. Then you want to act like an item box. Okay. it why Oh, it's a terotype um, thingy. But freaking Murkrow. Okay, so I'm a bit off, but I got to one of the destinations I wanted to reach.
Okay, this is more of a touristy area. That's right, you're on the railing. Right, there's nothing in the city, so this is just the only Pokemon Center that's around. was that hitbox? Not mean to do that. All right. What here? There we go. Um, thanks everyone for coming in. I'm sorry I've been kind of radio silent <laughs> since yesterday. I am planning on getting in a little bit of a stream tomorrow morning. After I do not have some things planned, so I won't be too long. Maybe ten to one ish, hopefully. But I will be playing Violet for a little while longer. Especially I want to get back into um, Fire Emblem Warriors. This game is just in my head. I cannot stop. So we will continue tomorrow. Go for a few hours. And see how far we get. I may finish. Let me go back and look. Real quick. Because we got here, the other place I need to get is here. Then from here, I just need to go down. There's the next 
Titan. There's a Pokemon Center here I can get to. There's this town. That Pokemon Center. Then that leads back to the main hub. But if I... I'm hoping I can get to this place, because that's the only one that's kind of sectioned off. Yep. What's your suggestion, Eos? Done for the Titans at this point. I mean, I get that, and like I said, I don't know how to get to this town down here where Tulip is. Because it doesn't seem that she has an easy entrance. Unless there's something I'm missing over in this area. is weird you have to go from a cave down below climb up the path left of the city go back into another cave then climb up and up yeah that's probably why that one will be the hardest one for me to unlock because i i don't have anything unlocked so i don't have any upgrades which is probably why i'll after unlock After I unlock Kostafa, this place here, Casta Rafa. I'll try and get this one, but I think this side is barricaded by the Team Star guys. Try and get down, get a couple more Pokemon centers so I have them open. Then I may do the Academy stuff for a bit, just to get up to speed with the Academy stuff and get some points with the teachers. But I hear the Academy has some good rewards. warning, okay? One teacher you can't do till you open every door. I'm guessing you mean the sealed doors with the stakes? Okay. Yeah, I'm sure I'll do that next. Once I get all the Pokemon centers open, then I can... Do the Titans. Maybe hold off on doing the end quest of Path of Legends. Start on the uh, bases after that. Then work on the gems. While I'm doing all that, find the doors, open them, or just unlock the doors. doors last, okay? Then I'll get the Pokemon Centers unlocked. 
Do what I can at the academy. Then I'll start working on the Titan. And see how far I get during that stream. Because I'm only hoping to go for maybe about three hours tomorrow. at least the climbing move from the false dragon titan and the lakes is almost unnecessary for the stakes. Wait, a false dragon titan in a lake? That sounds to me like a certain, um, flying fishy. If I have to make a guess. to take on the false dragon titan you need to take you need to swim which is from the flying titan yeah i figure i do need to knock out a few more titans before i can get to the because i mean okay that makes it easier i was thinking once i get back to mezagoza i get the claw then get the Lurking Steel. Let's see. The other one is in here. So I'd zoom around, get this one. Oh, come on. Not what I wanted. Because this is the one you're saying is in the lake. That's right, there's one in the desert. Viking Earth Titan. But yeah, I'd go for the stony cliff. Make my way around. Go for Lurking Steel. The only one I can't do is this one. Until I get... Lurking Steel is high jump, okay. I'll do this one, then this one, then head back up. And get that one. But once I get all the Titans, then I'll start working on the Starfall. Because, to be honest, they probably won't be easy, but at least they'll get them out of the way. False Dragon and Rumbling Earth are two of the hardest. Okay. Honestly, Melee is going to be the hardest for me because she's fire and my Pokemon is grass. I'm going to have to raise up a few water types to get through her trial. Oh yeah, and then there's this one, but I know I can't unlock that until after I beat all the gems. I can unlock the Pokemon League now. That's kind of busted.
Oh, you want me to go to Mesagoza right now? I mean, I can. Path Nord that leads to the Pokemon, to that Pokemon. Goes into a cave. Well, I shall... Well, the Pokemon are kind of rough? Yeah, I figured. Level 7? <laughs> yeah, so scary. Level 7 Pokemon, however will I live. But anyways, I screenshotted the information you gave me, Eo, so I can go for it. I don't know if y'all be up and moving or you'll be back in when I start up at 10 a.m. I just screenshotted that. But I will call it here for now. Back over here. Three seconds, okay? That'll be easy to do. I'll get back to Mezagoza and then unlock the Pokemon League. <laughs> Which is just ironic to say, even though I haven't even started the gyms. Then I'll get the Titans out of the way, get the bases out of the way. Hopefully not trigger the final thing, since I've heard Arvin and... Well, I've heard Arvin is a bit... tough. Six badges and they let you make an attempt? Wow. Okay, so it's not a once you complete the Titans, you have to fight the... Or once you complete the, um... The storylines, you have to fight the main bad. Ah, I see. Well, that'll be on the plans for tomorrow, is getting the rest of the Pokemon Centers... And then starting the Titans. I know, I just think it's just the way it goes. Like, you think the guy you fight at the end is like the big bad or something. I know he's probably not even... Challenge that happens after you defeat all the titans. Okay. That's not foreboding. Yeah, start said challenge though until you finish all three storylines. Okay. Well, I'm guessing once you complete the storylines, you get access to the crater. Where all the big stuff is. You learn about Kuridon or Miridon's origins and everything. Nope, just my speculations. <laughs> I 
Because I figure, with them saying that the crater is off-limits and forbidden to anyone who's in the uh, treasure hunt, that the main thing is, once you finish all of the storylines, there's probably going to be an extra storyline of, oh, well, you seem to be a very good trainer. You're clear to go into the uh, the crater. Because um, I have played ahead a little bit personally, not too far, but I have done a couple of the classes. And one talks about how Paldea, when it was uh, Empire was formed, the big treasure hunt was going down into the crater to find the treasure. So I figure that's why there's always a treasure hunt, because it's part of Paldea's history, and there's something down there they're trying to find. And, you know, time stuff, future, past is down there. But that's where you find, like, the um, Paradox Pokemon, and, like, you find out where Kuridon and Miridon came from and everything. At least that's what I think happens because I haven't gotten that far, but that's like kind of seeped into Paldea's history that there's always been treasure hunting, finding a treasure at the bottom of the crater. So I'm not saying that's 100%. The crater's made very kind, very made in a bisque esque. Oh, a giant crater in the middle of the continent. Go down and find treasure. Stuff is scary as all F. And there's one more example that I can't say because it's kind of a spoiler. I mean, fair. But yeah, it's been seeped into Paldea's history of the treasure hunt and hunting things down in the crater. So I figure you can't put that big of an area and then tell us, oh, nothing's in there. There has to be something in there, but it's just after the three main storylines, after you prove yourself. Heavy air quotes around prove yourself, because apparently our main character is the first person in years who has the gumption and know how to take care of everything and fast tracked to Project or Operation Starfall, fast tracked to this Titan chase, fast tracked to territorializing Pokemon. Not true? <laughs> okay. What part was not true? I was kind of spouting off a bunch of thoughts. Oh yeah, the professor. Yeah, they're down in the crater. So yes, they have some, but they're more research, not. Well, yes, it is said that the professors are down in the crater. Professor Trudeau and Professor Sada are in the crater researching. And I guess from the main cutscene at the beginning of the game where you see Miraidon or Kuraidon soaring through the sky before they crash. They come out of a foggy mist. So it could be they're coming out of the crater after trying to find Professor Turo or Professor Sada and just crash landed because they're out of power. Or energy. So 
it is strange that this time... I mean, it's never really said if the professor has family besides Gary is Professor Oak's grandson. Well, May is Professor Birch's daughter. Professor Juniper had a dad who was a professor before her. But in most parts, the professors don't have... No? What's no? Depending on which avatar you choose, yes, one becomes the daughter of Norman, or child of Norman, one becomes the child of Birch. Okay, yes, I guess I fell into that one. It's depending on whoever you choose for the avatar because there are a male and female characters you can choose. Eos. Depending on who you choose, and Ruby Sapphire and Alpha Ruby Omega Sap, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. If you choose Brendan, he becomes Norman's son. If you choose May, she becomes Norman's daughter. But if you choose choose Brendan, then May becomes Birch's daughter. If you choose May, then Brendan becomes Birch's son. It's made that way so that you have both characters in the game because one is your rival. <laughs> yes. It's just, sometimes, I mean, sometimes they make the characters, characters that are related to professors and it's kind of out there. The only ones I can think of that don't are Elm, Rowan... Sycamore. Uh, who's the next one? Oh no, yeah, I kind of, maybe I worded that a bit weird, but whichever you don't pick becomes the opposite, becomes Birch's child. <laughs> um... Oh, who was after Kalos? My first thought is Alola, which is Professor Kukui, but he has a wife. So he is married, and that's part of the whole thing is that he is married. Um... Yes, they are. Huey and Burnett are a power couple. And after Lola, if I'm not forgetting any, is now Galar, of course. Galar is Magnolia, and then... Oh, what is her name? It escapes me. Little Miss Twirly Hair. Uh, 
But I guess since Magnolia was the original professor and then her granddaughter became professor after she... Well, actually, at the beginning of the game, she kind of just gave up the mantle of professor to her granddaughter. That's also a direct professor relationship. So there's only been three, I think. Elm, Rowan, and Sycamore that haven't had any sort of familial re relations in the game. Sonia, thank you. I mean, I guess you could count Lavington, but then it's revealed that he was, he's related to Hop and Leon, so somewhere down the line he would have had to have had kids. But anyways, that whole entire tangent was all about how it's strange that Arvin is the child of either Toro or Sada, depending on which game you play. And you actually interact with them when most times the family members you don't really interact with. But anyways, I'm getting off on tangents, and I'll be here till midnight if I keep this up, which I really can't do because I have to get some sleep. And also I have to get something to eat. So I will stop the combo now and say thanks everyone for coming in. Uh, tomorrow we'll be doing some more Pokemon Violet. Hopefully finishing off the Pokemon Centers, and then going after the Titans first, then the bases, then the gyms. Um, if you're new and everything, I am going to try and stream at 10 a.m. Uh, CD CST. And uh, get started there. So I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.